Hi guys and welcome back to another review from Vape City Reviews and today we're taking a look at another product from Vaporesso. Vaporesso I have been a fan of ever since I started vaping back in the days of the original Vaporesso Target, them ceramic coils. I love them. Still vape them to this day um, in an old Vapor in, in an old Aspire Triton tank. I've always been a Vaporesso fanboy. So today we're taking a look at the Vaporesso Gen S and now you will recognize this mod, the Vaporesso Vaporesso Gen mod and it's got that sort of rubberized coating on it but the tank is different than the tank that came with the kit before and um, this is the NRGS tank so we're going to go down below unbox it there's a new coil as well and I'll let you know about that when we come back up top so we'll go down below unbox show you what you get some specifications back up and um, then yeah I'll give you my final pros and cons yes we Okay guys, so here we are down below with another release from Vaporesso, the Vaporesso Gen S kit. Um, pretty much the same Vaporesso Gen mod that was seen, I think it was about a month and a half, two months ago. We've got a brand new tank here to look at and um, yeah, let's go through this for you. So Vaporesso Gen S, uh, the Axon chips, got the pulse mode. Flavor and cloud chaser with them, fantastic NRG coils, a vape longer with dual 18650 batteries and the GT mesh coils as I just mentioned. Um, power isn't just for the pros. And then on the back you're going to get what's inside the packaging. Don't know if you want to freeze frame that and have a good read through that. Um, we'll go through the dimensions in just a minute but that's the box that it comes in. We have it in this colour here. And again, it's the, pretty much the same gen that uh, we reviewed previously. And um, we'll get another quick look at the mods menu. We'll we'll do it br we'll do it briefly, and um, we'll do the mod pretty briefly um, as we get through it because again, there's pretty it's pretty much the same thing. Um, so Vaporia, so a Gen S kit user manual is also going to come in the box. You are going to have your anti-counterfeit label instructions to make sure your product is legit. Inside this little envelope is going to be Vaporesso's warranty card. You do get your Vaporesso micro USB type C. People, they're, they're switching between type C, or not, not type C, this is micro USB. But they are switching between type C and micro USB type C. Unsure why. You do get a spur coil, um, let's see. My eyes are, do you know what, the camera's going to pick that up better than my eyes will. Let's see. So, it's better like that, wasn't it? 0.15, best between, or 50 to 70 watts, best between 60 and 70 watts. So, that's a dual mesh coil in there, and that is your spur coil. I'll show you the coil in the tank at the minute. We're going to see these uh, new coils. Uh, they are um, the GT4 mesh coils um, that are going to work with this new tank. So... You do receive a spur, a bubble glass, you get some rubber o-rings in there, a little gasket for your filling system, um, and the spur glass, and again, another product with a spur glass that's great to see. Um, again, we've seen that coil there, which is a dual mesh, 0.15, and this is the NRG S mini tank. Um, <clears throat> The capacity of this tank will change depending on where in the world you are, but it is using the NRG coils. Um, the last gen uh, kit came with the SKRR tank, the Skrrr tank, um, but these uh, NRG coils are just fantastic. So they've updated this tank um, and made it complete with the gen, which is going to just prove to be an absolutely awesome kit. So uh, in here I have the GT4 uh, meshed coils and I've got that just fully primed up and ready to go. And then we're going to go zoom in a wee bit closer and I'll give you some more information on that coil. So 0.15, 50 to 75 watts and best between 60 and 70. So that's fired up, ready to rock and roll. Um, and then you've got your chimney and your bubble glass on just here. Now the spur glass uh, isn't a bubble glass, so if you're not a fan 
of uh, bubble glasses on tanks you can use that spur glass but the bubble glass will bring the capacity to uh, seven seven mil no, sorry eight mil yes yeah, so you'll get eight mil from that bubble glass which is uh, pretty darn huge indeed and the chimney is quite small so it's going to really condense that flavor um, right down right from the coil up the chimney up to the mouthpiece it's really going to condense it down so you're going to get tons and tons and tons of flavor from this uh, airflow uh, on both sides we have this a twist it's going to lock on that side and what you do on one side will be replicated on the other and then if you want to fill this little baby up if you want to look just here this little sign here and then we're going to swing that open and it reveals your kidney style fill hole now one thing that i would like to congratulate vaporeso on is when you move the drip tip and the, the top cap out of the way you actually get full access to that port and there's very little tanks are opening up usually you know it can become something like this but we've got that extra little bit of wiggle room so you're not going to have any trouble with those thicker nibbed bottles um, which is a huge huge plus from Vaporeso that's usually an understate from some companies but attention to detail that is absolutely fantastic to see see that back over again and there we go the Vaporeso NRGS tank um, so yeah guys there's really not much more the menu do you really need to see the menu again um, from the gen so one two three sorry so menu three clicks of that middle button brings you into pulse mode power economy mode smart temperature control DIY DIY mode let's go DIY mode so you have variable wattage variable temperature control variable voltage and that's your power curves bypass mode sp mode i'm not too sure about but that is an exit uh system settings which you can change like the screen display time out etc and uh, just exit back out to the main screen most people are going to be using it just like this in standard normal mode dual 18650 and it will go from zero watts all the way up to take a guess 220 whether they're going to put out 220 with two 18650s i doubt it you might get close to it with two freshly charged 18650s but it's probably going to be in and around 170 180 watts um that that's going to come out at so i'm going to drop that wattage down that coil did say so sitting around 50 watts did it so we're going to drop that down to about 50 just here and then we'll put the tank back on top and see the kit complete Okay, so that is the final kit complete of the Vaporeso Gen S kit. An absolutely beautiful mod, beautiful tank. Vaporeso have this just nailed and always have had it nailed. Um, the only thing I can see missing here is Type C charging. Uh, that Axon chip's fantastic, their coils are fantastic. 8 milliliter capacity, you're not going to need to be topping this up. Um, anytime soon if you're in the eu you should be able to get the eight mil bubble glass and extension kit um unfortunately if you can't you're going to be stuck with two mil but that's not to say that the flavor is not going to be impressive because it is so that's it for the down below portion guys for the vaporeso gen x we're going to take it up top and give you my final pros and cons on what i make of a vaporeso's latest release yes Okay guys, I'm back up top with the Vaporeso Gen S kit. Um, the noise in the background guys is my fan blowing. It is so hot in this room today. Um, so yeah, what did you think guys? Um, did they need to release the whole new kit with their Gen kit? Um, I'm not too sure. The Gen mod's just fantastic. I mean, it's an absolutely gorgeous mod. It works flawlessly. The chip inside's brilliant. Anybody who likes to muck around with temperature control, power curves, I mean, this is just a dream mod for you guys. But again, it just does work normal wattage mode for those people who don't want to delve too far into that side of vape and you just want to select your wattage and you want to fire and go. So the GNS tank, um, we, we do have new coils. 
It's the GT4 meshed coils, 0.15, and they are rated between 50 and uh, 50 and 70 watts. So I'm going to start vaping this on 50, take it up to 70, and then give you my final pros and cons on this. I'm going to use it with half the airflow open. Um, I always find just with a full airflow, it's just a wee bit too airy, and with the half the airflow, I find that I do get better flavour. So half the airflow open, 50 watts. Now, I'm using Red Astar, my normal vape. I can't take big, big deep hits of it because there's a menthol, it's sort of menthol based in there, but the menthol does kick you a wee bit in these sublim devices. But that flavour, holy shit! You know, Vaporesso, Freemax, Arrays and Tech. I mean, they're all getting so good at putting flavour out of these kits. So, 55 watts, and then we'll just do a straight jump to 70. Cloud chucking! Okay, the highest recommended wattage for this coil is at 70 watts, and on a dual 18650, you are going to get all day out of these batteries, even if you're firing it at 70 watts. The chip manages the power so well indeed, it really, really does. So, 70 watts. I, I genuinely can't complain. 70 watts. The flavour is absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. And Vaporesso know this. They, they, they know it. The, the, them GTX, G, or sorry, the GT cores are fantastic. The GTX coils that I nearly said there was for their, like, so their PM80s, things like that. Absolutely brilliant coils, but the, the MGT, uh, the GT mesh cores, um, they're sort of the baby beast style coils. The flavour is just an, an abundance, an absolute abundance of flavour. I like this, I, I've been vaping this coil at about 60 watts, and it seems to work very well for me at 60 watts. Lovely. What can you say? If you like your clouds and you like your flavour, um, you, you're really, really going to enjoy this uh, this new kit from Vaporesso. The Gen S is proved, uh, sorry, the Gen Mod is proved, it's tried, it's tested, it works and it works flawlessly. It, it cannot be faulted. Um, it, it's an amazing mod, an absolutely amazing mod. Center 510. Um, it's going to hold up to a 25 millimeter. It's not going to anything over a 25, well over a hang over the sides. But most tanks now are 25. So a 25 millimeter is about the most you're going to be able to go. This new NRGS tank I absolutely love. And I'm pretty sure if you see the chamber there in the middle, guy. It, it looks bigger on camera than what it actually is. It's a very thin chamber going up to the, the mouthpiece up here. And um, it's just giving me outstanding flavour. Absolutely outstanding flavour. And it's usually quite a hard feat for companies to do for something that's going to chuck out clouds and still give you that really dense flavour. Um, it's it's a difficult thing to do, and it all comes down to the coils, how the coils are made, uh, the, the materials that are within the coils, and Vaporeso have been in the game a long time, and they know exactly what they're doing. Um, can I gush any more over this? Do you want to hear me for another 10 minutes gushing? I, I could. I really could. So, a dual battery goodness. It's going to last you all day. Flavour for Fucking days. The uh, NRGS tank is just superb, and um, yeah, I recommend everybody who likes to cloud chuck with flavor just bad. The minute you see these go on sale, just bad. You're gonna absolutely fall in love with it. It gets a massive recommendation from me. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it for the Vaporesso Gen S. I'd like to extend my thanks to Vaporesso for sending out the Gen S free for the purpose of this review, and for you guys as always watching it all the way to the end. I hope you all have a bloody awesome day. Stay safe and have a good one. Bye. Whee.